like, subscribe, and leave a comment. So UFC 302 co-main event, which is Sean Strickland versus uh, Paulo Costa. So obviously we have Sean Strickland, the former middleweight champion. He came off that great victory over uh, Israel Adesanya, um, five-round routing, I should say, in Australia. Then he went against um, Drykus Duplices, DDP, um, and lost in a split decision. Some people thought um, Strickland won it. Even Dana White thought Strickland won the fight. But the judges gave it to um, Drykus. Uh, Str Strickland is saying he feels that um, <laughs> Canada doesn't like him because the things he was saying at the, 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 the pre-fight press conference, which may have swayed the judges' opinion, I don't know. I don't think. I'm not sure. I hope that that's not that's not the case. But obviously, he didn't get the nod. He hasn't fought since then. Obviously, he wanted his rematch against Drykus, but he didn't get it. I don't know what's going on with Drykus. Who he's fighting next? Maybe Izzy. I have no idea. But he did want his rematch, and he has not got it. So now he's going to be fighting Paul Acosta. So uh, Strickland's a dangerous guy. A dangerous guy. He's got. He's always got his shell up. When he fights, got his shell up. Then he comes up with a jab, jab, jab. And then if he has you against the fence or hurt, then he will go off on you. Doesn't really use wrestling that much, but he's a dangerous customer. He's going against Paul Acosta. Paul Acosta fights similar to DDP in ways. He's going to walk you down. He's going to strike. He's going to look to finish you. He's going to look to knock you out. His last fight, he lost. He fought um, Robert Whittaker. Obviously, he lost the fight. Um, not obviously, but obviously, if you're following MMA, you know he lost the fight. It was still a quite, quite a close fight, though. It wasn't, it wasn't outgunned. He wasn't blown out of the water it was just robert was quicker and more precise but um paul acosta was still in there at all times and he's always a dangerous fighter former title fight contender against israel adesanya um so he's a dangerous guy paul acosta is a dangerous guy and he fights similar to ddp so this is where i'm not sure um in how this will go because he's fights similar to ddp he's going to be walking forward he's going to walk you down walking forward he's going to rip combos similar to what ddp does Look at the fight against him versus Vittori. He was taking shots to walk forward and, and land shots. That's what I see sort of happening here. I think it's going to be a similar fight to Strickland versus Drykus where uh, Costa's walking forward, but uh, Strickland's hitting him with a jab. But Costa's walking forward, eat one to give two. That's what I've sort of seen. So in the decision, I'm maybe leaning towards Paul Acosta because he's going to fight similar to Drykus, which Drykus got the victory last time. Um, but I wouldn't be surprised if Strickland wins this by decision as well. Um, Strickland might be able to take over round three, four, and five, maybe, um, depending on Costa's gas tank. Costa might win one and two and then starts fading into three, and then Strickland takes over and gets a decision, potentially. Costa might get a stoppage, or even um, Strickland could get a stoppage due to exhaustion on Paul Acosta and he finishes him. But I'm leaning towards Paulo Costa as the fight. I think it's going to be similar to Drykus Duplices. Uh, Costa's going to be walking forward, eating strikes to give strikes. But I wouldn't be surprised if Strickland wins on the decision. That's my thoughts.